Relations raid a business set up as a barber shop by day and a strip club by night. Agents say after hours at a place called Superfades, the booze was flowing and folks were dancing naked. West 2's Gail Pascal Brown is live outside the business in Pine Hills. And Gail, we hear two people were arrested. Absolutely. The owner and one of the alleged dancers, as you can see, there are barber poles outside, but inside, investigators say there was a stripper pole. And as you mentioned, Jim, there was new dancing as well as alcohol being served. Not much haircutting going on, according to this report from the Metropolitan Bureau of Investigation. This is undercover video of a stripper at the Superfates Barbershop on North Pine Hills Road, a stone's throw from Evans High School. Agents with the Metropolitan Bureau of Investigation say when night falls, Superfades turns into an after hours nightclub with prostitution. It was a full nude alcohol strip club. Uh, they, the dancers would be fully nude and they served alcohol. On Sunday, agents arrested the owner, 47-year-old Derek Price, known as Old School. Agents say he's seen here in the video collecting the $10 cover charge at the door. A 17-year-old was also arrested, charged, among other things, with working at an unlicensed adult entertainment establishment. We did make prostitution cases also, and that, that uh, um, added to the need to speed this case up because there was the potential of this teenage girl being involved in prostitution, too. Warrants have been issued for alleged answers 23-year-old Jasmine James and 22-year-old Ashley Grady. According to the arrest report, lap dancers were in a private room for $40. Investigators say Grady offered to have sex with an undercover agent for $100. Undercover agents went to Superfades on several occasions, including during the day, for a haircut. By day, it was a very slow barber shop. <laughs> they didn't cut many uh, folks' hair. During one visit, one undercover agent saw one barber chair and did not see any barber clippers, scissors, or hair cutting tools in the business. Now, the women that investigators are looking for face a host of charges, including engaging in lewdness. If you have any information whatsoever, contact Crime Line. You could receive a reward. I'm Gail Pascal Brown in Orange County for West 2 News.